Hey guys, Michael Shamlin here with five quick tips for shooting seascapes. Tip number one, shoot with a wide angle lens and try and get as close as you can to the water or even stand in the water. Oftentimes when the, the water is moving past you, it makes a really interesting scene. The wider the frame is, you'll get this nice water flow that's coming past the camera and it really brings you into the scene. Some good lenses for this would be, um, I've got right here the Nikon 14-24. to I'm using to film this video the Canon 17-40. There's a ton of wide lenses, but just pick a nice wide lens and then actually get into the water and you'll find you'll get some really, really interesting water motion. Tip number two is to use filters for your seascape photography. Now, the reason you'd wanna use filters is when you shoot during the day or sometimes into the sun, you're gonna to need to use a pretty high shutter speed because there's so much light going on. But if you use a filter, like this one right here, you can knock down the light and basically that'll allow you to do a longer shutter speed so you can really see the water motion. You can see that nice long exposure water motion going on. This right here, is a three-stop um, neutral density filter. It's made by Vu Filters. That's the filter company I use for my own kit. That's VU Filters. And then I also have this filter, which is a graduated filter. And basically it's dark on the top and then um, pretty much translucent on the bottom. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to knock down the exposure in the sky while still keeping the same exposure for the foreground. It allows you to basically balance out the image a little bit. There's also a ton of different options for different lenses. So, you know, this is a filter kit for the Nikon 14 to 24. And obviously the, the filter that comes with it is um, a lot larger. Tip number three, check the tides before you go out. You know, the tides are changing all the time and the difference between a five foot tide or a negative tide is going to completely change your seascape experience. The beach could be completely different. You know, oftentimes the water will cover up tons of rocks if the tide is too high. And oftentimes if it's low tide, you won't even get any water motion to begin with. So, you know, look at the tides, go to beaches during different tides to experience what the beach has to offer. You know, you never really know until you go there and, and see, you know, okay, I can go to one beach during low tide, see what it's like go to the same beach during high tide and see what it's like. And sometimes I'll get completely different images. Okay guys, tip number four is basically to keep your lens as dry as possible. You're gonna shoot seascapes and get a ton of water spray. And the best way to go about this is to use uh, nice cloths that are safe for the lens and just keep wiping the lens down after almost every shot. I, I probably wipe down my lens after every single shot. Just a few wipes just to make sure that those water spots aren't on the lens. They're, you know, I mean, sometimes you can't avoid getting some water spots, but it's really annoying having to Photoshop out 100 water spots in an image. And cloths like this have really helped me out. Now, if you find that there's so much salt water getting on your lens that you're just not sure what to do about it, there are these alcohol wipes as well. And what you can do is just take a quick moment, wipe your lens down with this alcohol wipe, and then after you've done that, wipe it down with a dry cloth again to make sure the, the lens is completely dry. Tip number five is to use an f-stop like f16 or f18 or even f22 to basically make the picture as in focus as possible. Oftentimes when you're shooting waves, you don't have time to go in and start messing with the focus, changing the focal lengths and blending the, all those images together. You know, if you get one really nice wave motion that comes at you, chances are you might not get that same wave action again. All right guys, that was my five tips for shooting seascapes. I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and um, leave a comment. Thank you so much.